Hi, Mark Howell with AVI. We're going to work on a PACCAR MX13 2017 EPA. And you'll find all the information on this tag on top. It has your valve lash, feeler gauge adjustments, and we'll get started. First thing you're going to want to do is remove the valve cover. You'll have to undo the injector harness. I've already got it pre-loosened so we don't waste too much time going through that. So we'll just remove the top section. And underneath the valve cover, you're going to find the injector harness. You'll have to remove that. There's screws underneath. Then we're going to undo each injector. You'll find the harness connections on top of each injector. The bolts are already loosened, and you'll have to lift this off carefully. And set it aside. Now on a diesel straight six, your firing order is going to be one, five, three, six, two, four. And then we'll have to come over to the side to bar the engine over. So we have here the barring tool. You'll have to have a special barring tool. And you'll have to remove the cover, which is the section here. And once you bar it over, we're going to get to where we see the first number is this one's one and six. We're going to line it up right with this peg. Then we'll go back up to the top. Okay, so we just barred it over. The flywheel were at one and six. So when you come up, I've got a 20, 20 thousandths intake feeler gauge, a 28 thousandths exhaust. This is a special exhaust feeler gauge. And then you'll need a five millimeter Allen head to adjust your caps and then an 18 millimeter. So when you set your Flywheel at between one and six, you're going to want to find one that's open. And actually, they're both closed and overlapped. The one that's open, they'll be tight. So if these two are tight, you want to adjust cylinder number one. And we're at one right now. So the intake is loose. So we're going to adjust that. So we'll loosen the jam nut. Put our filler gauge underneath the pad in the top of the bridge. And you're going to want to turn it till it's snug and not too tight. A little bit of drag. And as you tighten this jam nut, make sure this stays loose. You want to keep checking it as you tighten it. Because as you tighten the jam nut, that'll also tighten the screw up top here. So we'll go ahead and tighten that down. We got it set where we want. And hold. And check it again. And I just got a little tight, but that's still good. Then we're going to want to torque that. The torque on this is 64 Newton meters. And you're going to want to check. Each engine is different, so you're going to want to check, make sure your specs are proper for the, the engine you're working on. Yep, she's a little tight, so that's why you got to re just keep checking and make sure you get it adjusted right because once you crank that down it's going to get a little tight so we'll just make sure and reset it Sometimes you can leave this just a hair looser because you know it's going to tighten down a little bit anyway. And that's pretty good. So now we'll go over to the exhaust side. Your intake is a short, your exhaust is a long. This one has the engine brake built in, so it's pretty obvious this is your exhaust. 
to loosen this jam nut. Now you have to use this two-sided feeler gauge on this and line it up with a little copper pad here so you get on both sides of it. Okay, now the exhaust is adjusted just fine. So now we're going to go bar the engine back over to the next section. So we just adjusted the flywheel. We're at two and five right now. So we're gonna do the same procedure all the way down. Okay, so I've just barred it over. We're back on one and six. So now we're gonna work on six. So the intake is loose, we're on the right side. And we're gonna adjust it. Now on the intake, you wanna be on, under this pad on top of the bridge. Get rid of the oil that's on there so you get a good reading. Adjust your nut. And she slipped a little bit. We'll do it again. It's got a nice drag. And once you're done adjusting, mark it with a paint stick. That way you know you've already covered that.
Now the exhaust is different than the intake. That goes underneath the rocker arm and the top pad and line these up with this uh, brass looking part. I'm gonna give her a little, make sure she's not too tight. good and then we'll mark it so I've just adjusted six so we've done one five three six what we have left is two and four so the firing order on a straight six is always going to be one five three six two four and it doesn't really matter how you bar it over as long as you continue with the same sequence we happen to be at one and six when we first started we're going to finish with the one five six three two four so two and four we have left to do and we're going to adjust that now so we're pretty much done. If you have any questions, contact AVI. My name is Mark Howell, and thanks for watching.